Yeah. We will start the new concept uh, that is called inheritance. What is that? Inheritance. Okay. Inherit. What is meant by inheritance? Yeah. When you take a class, a new class, it should be in a relation. What is that relation? The relation is a parent and a child. A parent and child. Okay. A parent and a child. Or else you can call it as create a new class. Create a new class from the existing class. From the existing class. Okay. So, so what is the use of inheritance here? Inheritance. What is the use of inheritance? So we can use reusability of the code. Reusability of the code. Reusability of the code from the derived class or subclass. The second point is we should use two keywords. The two keywords are one is virtual keyword. Keep this in mind. Okay. In mind. When you are writing an inheritance class, we should use a two keywords. One is virtual. What? Virtual keyword. Virtual keyword. And extend keyword. Extends keyword. And the third point is we are not going to create an object. We are not going to create an object. Create an object for the parenting. Okay. And the fourth point is if you want to execute, if you want to execute the class methods, you can you can you can call the child class. Okay. And the simple and the, and the, and the simple thing is, I am going to write here one class in a class one and in class two. In class one, I have methods, and again in class two, I have two methods. Here, here methods. What we call as methods, and here also methods. Okay. For this class one, I'm going to write a keyword which is called as virtual. Or what is the keyword? Virtual keyword. And and whereas in class two, I'm going to use the keyword which is extends. Extends. Extends to one. Extends to one. Extends to one. Extends to one. Okay. Extends to one. I 
I hope you got this method. Okay, we will go to the Salesforce and we will see how we can execute this class. Okay, the simple concept to write the inheritance concept. See here, I'm going to write as a name as inheritor inherit one class. Okay. I'm writing the class as inherit one. So here I'm going to write as public void m1 system dot debug parent one method. I'm writing like this. Okay. And I want to save this class. I'm saving this class. So no error. And again, I'm going to create a new class, which is a child class. So what I'm doing, I'm writing as inherit, inherit two, inherit two. I'm writing the public void m2 of method system or debug method and this is child function this is child and I've written like this. I'm saving this. See, this is a normal class, right? If you want to make the class and execute the M1 method also, then you need to give the permission to class 1, the class inherit 1. So, what I'm writing is, I'm writing the keyword here. We have, we have explained here what is the keyword. I'm writing the keyword as virtual keyword. Writing the keyword as virtual. Save. Save. And here, inherit two. Inherit two. In inherit two, I'm going to write the keyword called as extends. Extends. Which class I'm extending now? I'm extending the one class. Inherit one class. So what I'm going to do is. I've extended this class. Okay, so save. So, so what we need to do now? We need to create an object to execute this class. I'm, I want to create this object. For that, go to debug, go anonymous window, or else control E. Control E, make the inherit to. V make it as uh, uh, C equal to new and child uh, name next C dot M one C dot M two Okay, execute this. Execute this. See here. This is the parent method and this is a, a child function. See here. The class, the base class. Base class means uh, uh, the upper class. Upper class is parent one method. And the derived class is the child function. So, so, what is the result here? Parent one method and child function. Okay, we got it too now. Suppose if I want to make uh, two more methods in in parent class, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new one, new method here also, and again. So 
I want to change this method as uh, M3 and uh, M4 and here M5 because already we have M2 here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write as uh, 3 and this is uh, 4 and this is uh, 5. Save now. No errors. Again, control E, go there, call the methods with this yum3 c dot the yum4 semicolon c dot the yum5 execute this. Click here, checkbox, debug only, and see here. We got all the functions and um, all the methods right now. See here. Parent 1 method and parent uh, 3, 4, 5. All the 4 methods, all the 4 methods were executed and in, 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 in yeah, inherit 2, one, one method that is M2 also executed. Okay, all all five methods are here. You should uh, you should get the get the point is but I have not created a object for the parent class. I have created the object for the child class, and that too I called with the child class the parent methods also. Okay, here what, what are all the M1, M3, M4, and M5 are the parent methods. Okay. So, uh, for your understanding, uh, I want to make some common writings on this. See here. This is a parent class or, or, a, or a parent for the base class. Parent or base class. Or base class, the keyword, the keyword, virtual, the keyword, virtual. This is the important thing. If you want to share the base class to the child classes, we need to mention the virtual keyword. Important. Okay. And these are methods. Methods of parent class. Parent class. Okay. And here in the child class. Save this one. In the child class, the important point is again to be noted. The important point is uh, Child class with the keyword extends. What is the keyword? Extends is used. This is called food reusability. And here we have mentioned one more method that method child method. Child method. Save this. Control E, C. And I have created an object. Object is created for the for the child class. Object is created for the child class. Called with a reference key. All the methods here. All the methods which the parent, the parent method, and it and child method. All method means parent method, parent uh, uh, methods, and child methods. And child methods called with the child object. 
child object okay right oh and this one so don't be don't be confused what is meant by inheritance inheritance is a simple class we can execute very easily with a true keyword that is called as virtual keyword virtual keyword and the extend keyword so make this point in your mind that virtual keyword should be in the base class and the extends keyword should be in the child class okay I hope you people got all this thing see if you want these programs you can find you can find all the programs in my blogger which is try out try out as a pc dot blog spot dot com okay you can find in this in this blogger all the programs you can make it note down from that blog spot okay i hope you got it thank you